Hey there guys, what's going on? I'm Arrow in the Knee and today we're doing a small series of videos uh, to teach people how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been asked so many times by people how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, there's so many people on my channel who just watch my Yu-Gi-Oh! videos and they don't know how to play. They don't even know what's going on. They're like, oh, stuff's happening and I don't know what's going on. So I think it's best to educate uh, a lot of you. Uh, a lot of people have actually said, Shane, can you teach me Yu-Gi-Oh! And usually my knee-jerk my knee -jerk reaction is, um, I'd rather stick pins in my eyes because it's so in-depth. It's so much. But honestly, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a lot of fun. It's truly, truly a lot of fun. So if I can teach you guys in maybe a small series of videos, or maybe even an extended series of videos, I'd be happy to do that. So that's what we're doing today. This is our first lesson, guys. Hopefully, you'll enjoy. All right, so we are going to be starting at the very beginning. The very first thing you should know in Yu-Gi-Oh! And that is how to win the game. The actual basic way to win the game. Now, both players, have what are known as life points and you both start with 8,000 of these life points. If you get your opponent to zero life points while you still have some remaining, you win the game. Where if your opponent gets you down to zero and they have some remaining, they win the game. It's pretty simple, it's pretty basic. There are other ways to win the game but 95% and that's being generous of the time you'll be pretty much going for that. The only other way to really win is Exodia. Um, if you've watched episode 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh, you'll know Exodia. If you don't, go watch episode 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh, it's actually kind of fun. Um, so yeah, that's the basic way to win the game, is life points. Now, how do we reduce those life points? How do we do this? We know we've got 8,000 life points each, we, we know we have life, we know we've got that, and we know we want to take it away from the opponent, but how do we, how do we snatch that life away from them? Oh, we're gonna get on into how to do that with our first thing. Alrighty then, guys, now that we know about life points and the aim of the game, we're going to be looking at just how to get rid of those pesky life points of your opponents. And with that, I'm going to introduce to you the first and absolute main card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, the card type, not card. The main card type in Yu-Gi-Oh! And these are monster cards. Now, monster cards are used to do your bidding and attack your opponent. Now, monsters will attack your opponents and reduce their life points. I mean, it's pretty simple when you think about it. Your opponent has life, monsters attack them, they lose life. It's, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, now, we'll talk about exactly how to use these monsters and how to attack in the future because that's, um, there's little steps involved, uh, but basically, you know you want to attack your opponent and take their life away. That is the absolute basic thing you should be thinking right now. Okay, Shane, we're going to kill this guy by attacking him with monsters. Now, at the same time, your opponent is going to be trying to kill you with monsters, and that's how a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! goes. Now, all monster cards have what is known as attack and defense points. These are down at the bottom of the card, and it shows how strong these cards are. Now... If your monster were to have 1,000 attack points and it were to attack your opponent directly, they would lose 1,000 life points. They start at 8,000. Pretty simple maths on 8,000 minus 1,000. They go to 7,000. That's pretty simple. And you want to get your opponent to zero to win the game, so you're going to be doing that a bit. So obviously you want stronger monsters. You kill your opponent faster. That's, that's pretty simple. Now there's a lot more to talk about with monsters. But I want to give you the absolute basics, and I, this is about as basic as it gets. Uh, because I'm just trying to give you an overview of the, sim the simple parts of the game. Uh, so that's the first of three uh, main card types that there are. Now we're going to move on to the second now, and that's spells. Now spell cards are really important in Yu-Gi-Oh! And they're used for a variety of reasons. Uh, to make your monster stronger, to weaken your opponent's monsters, um, to raise your life points, to reduce your opponent's life points, to draw cards, to go through your deck, search for something, to destroy monsters, to do... There's so many things that spells do, they're basically just pure utility. Now you play them out of your hand during your turn and they do what it says on the card. Some cards are draw two cards. In fact, that card is actually uh, not allowed anymore. And we'll talk about that later on. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm jumping into too, th too many things. Point being, spells, really important, very powerful. 
and they're very, very basic. They're not like monster cards, which are a bit more complicated in how you use them. Spells, you basically just play them and they do what this says on the card, which is very, very simple. Um, so that's pretty much spells. They're really, truly not hard to understand. You just play them out your hand, do what it says on the card. Um, so now we're going to move on to the third kind of card, a bit more complicated. Uh, these are trap cards. So let's have a look at these. Now, trap cards I find super duper fun. Now, they're pretty interesting. Uh, they basically work like spell cards. So you read the card, does what it says on the card. Um, but they have a distinct difference to spell cards. Uh, these are played face down onto the field and they act as, guess what? Traps. So um, they're more defensive, uh, more destructive usually than spell cards. Um, so I'd actually like to take a look at a card. I didn't want to do this in the first episode, but I think this is just to show what traps are. Now we're going to look at the most famous trap in Yu-Gi-Oh! And this is Mirror Force. Yugi used it in his deck, I think it was like episode 2, uh, in which we saw Mirror Force being used, maybe 3. Um, and to this day, and that's 12, 13, like 15 something years on, uh, from when that was released, Mirror Force is still a very strong card. So I'd like to have a look at this with you guys, uh, and read it and just... We can have a look, you know, we can have a little bit of talk about it. So, Mirror Force's text is, When an opponent's monster attacks, destroy all of your opponent's attack position monsters. So, Mirror Force stops your opponent from attacking your life points and kills their monsters. Now, that's pretty good. But I, I'd like you to look at Mirror Force and see, this is what traps do. This is, by nature, traps are traps. Your opponent is going to try and attack your life points. And Mirror Force is there to stop them. It's it's a trap. So, I think Mirror Force is one of the best, um, best cards that shows what a trap truly does. And, and, and what they try to achieve. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. So, that's it for uh, this episode. Uh, like I said, this is the absolute basics of Yu-Gi-Oh! And we haven't really begun to scratch the surface. So if I fail to mention anything, don't worry, we're going to get into it. I mean, I, I've said stuff like uh, when you when you attack an opponent, you don't know how to do that yet. I know, but that's just me saying that's what happens when you do that. We'll talk about how we do that, how we summon monsters, how we do this, how we do that. We'll talk about traps in more detail because... These are going to need their own episodes. Uh, there's different kinds of traps, different kind of spells, different kind of monsters. So we'll do those. There's also uh, the extra deck stuff. There's a lot to go through. Like I said, when someone said to me, teach me Yu-Gi-Oh, I said I'd rather stick pins in my eyes. Um, because it's so in-depth. But Yu-Gi-Oh is really fucking fun. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. It's... Yu-Gi-Oh! turned me from a 16-year-old true dweeb, true, true dweeb, into traveling the country, having loads of friends, all, I loved it, it's, it's what, I, I owe so much to Yu-Gi-Oh! So I guess this is my way of giving back and being like, yeah, <laughs> this is me doing that, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching this video uh please if you like the video press the like button it it helps me stay motivated to make more videos like this this actually is taking quite a lot of effort so yeah uh please leave me a comment tell me how you think i'm doing with i guess teaching uh i'm i'm not a teacher i'm definitely not a teacher so some constructive criticism would be absolutely fine i'd, I'd love to hear positive feedback also you don't have to tell me i suck all the time that would be very nice um yeah uh subscribing is pretty good if, if you want to see more of this and you're not already subscribed you know subscribing you'll get my videos into your sub box it's pretty useful um yeah so hopefully we'll well, we'll move on to probably uh, the next thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! Once you know the cards like that, is probably how turns work and how, um, basically how the game flows. And then once we've done that, we'll move on to maybe looking at 
certain things in detail. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time. I'm rambling too much, and I'll, I'll, I'll see you around. Bye-bye. <laughs>